My name is Alexey Bayarsky. I am an associate professor in Lawrence Institute. I was born in Ukraine and I spent the first 16 year, years of my life and then I took my bag and left for good. Uh, I was uh, in Moscow, then in Utrecht, in Copenhagen, in, for many years in Switzerland. So I worked in, worked in all these uh, exciting places. I studied in Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology. It was still um, a Soviet Union when I went there. So 60% the of Ukrainians probably there. and. It was a really good place when you when, when, when you arrive at the first year. They, the first thing you have to do is the so-called colloquium and calculus. Is the thing to be to be allowed to, to take it in October. You need to uh, to, um, to, to, to to solve about hundred problems per week, and then everybody was scared. Ah, I will not be allowed for the colloquium, mm. and then I will not pass the colloquium. So. You understand very quickly what what you know. Where are you? <laughs> this this was the purpose of the of the colloquium. But the best things there were many brilliant students with whom we talked till morning, and yeah, it was a very interesting time. Well, my research topic I would call it fundamental constituents of. Matter, so I don't do particle physics, I don't do cosmology, I don't do condensed matter, and I do all of this. I just want to know how the matter is made. And if for this I need to do cosmology, I do cosmology. If I need to do astrophysics, I do astrophysics. If I need to do particle physics, I do particle physics. And sometimes I need to do condensed matter because it, it also helps sometimes for this type of questions as well. Uh, why I do physics? Well, I, I, uh, when I was a kid, I was reading uh, books, very good books. And I, I had an image that scientist is kind of uh, <coughs> magician, because I realized how, how much did we... I mean, did science change the world? And uh, I initially, I really believed that when I was a small kid, that scientists can do, you know, <laughs> miracles. Then I realized that it's a bit more complicated. And by the end of 16, when I was de deciding where to go, I realized already that physics is the oldest and the most developed science. And therefore it's very hard, because all low-lying fruits were eaten already. and. We are not guaranteed to make big discoveries in the near future. But it's much easier, as I thought, and I think I still think to go to other emergent fields like life sciences, where you can expand into the empty space basically. There is so much to know and to learn, and this is great and this is exciting. But all this, first of all, well. Of course, there can be surprises when you find new, very unexpected things and make big discoveries any moment. This can happen in physics. But I realize that the probability is not so high, but all this knowledge that was developed, it was developed sort of in hurry, in, in, in the times of big, uh, frequent big discoveries. And all this knowledge has to be understood, well thought, organized and used in other uh, fields. So this was a minimal thing to do. And I realized that it's not uh, the most beneficial, maybe most beneficial type of work and maybe it's very hard work, but I felt, I felt strong, so I wanted to, to do it. So, and uh, I'm happy that I made this decision. I uh, still think the same and uh, well, I come and I uh, make calls and then people come to my office, so I mainly talk when I'm here. Uh, this is my daily routine. Uh, well, sometimes it's not so pleasant because you would like more 
time to sit quietly and think. But uh, first of all, you can do it at home or in some other places. And second, uh, you know, the stream of information is also quite useful and uh, you, you, you can get a lot of input for your thinking at home. Well, uh, I do several projects, uh, for example, science-wise, it's a big project uh, about uh, automated uh, uh, <coughs> manipulation with scientific knowledge, organizing papers, recommending papers, finding an expert for, for a paper, we, 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 we will probably help also European Research Council to find uh, referees for uh, projects and then I do another project in uh, humanities, it's a multilingual library where at the same platform you have a library of books and a repositorium like archive of papers about those books and the idea is that um, uh, the researchers can crowdsource uh, comments and other information about books. I, I like this project very much. Well, when I say I do it, I mean, uh, my, uh, uh, it's done by, by, by people who work full-time on it, by developers. But I was, you know, the one who initiated these projects and uh, sometimes uh, once a week or whatever, they ask my opinion what to do and how to develop it. So I like it. And then I like music. My son is more or less seriously playing violin, so I'm going with him for master classes and festivals and the rehearsals of famous violinists, which is great. Uh, yeah, so I'm very happy that he gives me this opportunity. When I was younger, I was a fan of uh, classical ballet, so I was going to, when I was in Moscow, I was going to Bolshoi Theater every evening for maybe six years. Uh, but now it's too hard and too expensive and because I was doing this for, for, for three years at that time. And uh, there is no Bolshoi theater around so I can do it maybe a couple of times per year and of course I like sport skiing biking whatever. this is a this is a very sad story because I learned these words from Carlos Frank recently Carlos Frank told me for many years already I don't uh, work I just fight fires I come to my office, I see where is the next fire, and I fight it. And then I would go to the next fire, and next fire, and then I stop because the, uh, the day ends, not because I, I finished and I, <laughs> I stopped all fires. So I realized that I do the same for last years, and it's a very sad story. I don't like to work in this way, but this is how I, how I work. I, I stop fires. Well, my retirement plans is uh, to die before I retire. I mean, uh, retire means what? If it means that you are 65 and you cannot be a professor anymore, then it's not a retirement for me. Retirement when is when you stop working, right? You stop starting new projects, taking care of old ones, interacting with young people, and you know, having new ideas, I hope that I will die before I retire.